Hi everyone, welcome to Slim Chat, it's Tracy. And the sunshine has gone. Oh, it didn't last long, did it? We were going to go out for a walk in it yesterday, but we didn't quite get there. We went out for a meal instead and had an Indian. Um, spur of the moment decision, but we were going to go for a walk along a nice flat beach, not about on the actual sand, but on the bank at the top, um, at Minster, because it's nice and flat there. Um, but he want, Gary wanted to order a couple of dishes first and the lure of the, the restaurant just pulled him in. And that was the end of the walk. I wasn't relishing the idea because I wanted, I didn't want to be exhausted, you know. I wanted to have a day of not where, you know, it's, it's better to do them kind of things every other day or every few days and then have a few days where you get over that kind of stuff. And I thought, I just recharged my batteries and I didn't want to, to walk and then be all exhausted and so that it didn't happen. I just got exhausted because I was stuffed instead. Although I didn't really eat till I couldn't eat no more. You know, I, I kind of don't seem to be able to do that now anyway and don't want to. So I just eat and then I've had enough and I stop. Which isn't bad. And I'm going to start knocking on the head all of these naughty stuff that I've been eating. Knocking on the head. That's a very English saying. But, you know, to be honest with you, I've been hammering the bad stuff quite a bit because I'm allowed or have been allowed I have to stop it so the movie quote of the day was Sanka you dead yet <laughs> or Sanka you dead yet um that was Cool Runnings and it was a brilliant movie absolutely loved it my eldest son Paul loved it so much he's watched it a zillion times Mike's watched it lots and the only one who got it was Jane Liquish's mum well done to you um this one <laughs> Um, <laughs> hang on, I need to read this. <laughs> we got no food, we got no jobs, our pets' heads are falling off. <laughs> we got no food, we got no jobs, our pets' heads are falling off. So, what is that from? You gotta get that one. More people gotta get that one. We've got no food, got no jobs. Our pets' heads are falling off. <laughs> so, you know, it's just like these films, they come into my mind from like all those years ago when we used to watch them a lot. So, most of them are all a certain age. Uh, for when my children were living at home and we watched films constantly over and over and over. Don't mean we watched it and then we went back and watched it again. We'd watch it again later on, you know, but we watched films a lot over and over. Some of those films from that era, you can. It's my, I think films for today, they're one, one kind of shot, aren't they? You get the odd one that you watch again. It's like, what did I watch the other day? I can't remember now, but I watched something with Gary that I hadn't seen for a long, long time. I'd forgotten it all. And there was just bits that I kind of remember. I can't remember what film that was. And I kept saying, I know I've seen this film, so I remember that part. But I actually didn't remember the film at all. And um, <laughs> just because I didn't watch it a zillion times. But a lot of these films in my movie quotes, they're sort of ingrained in our brains because we've watched them and watched them and watched them. But I think from, movies from that time were so watchable and re-watchable. But, you know, it's hard to find one like that now. You might get the odd one, like the odd Star Wars bit, franchise, or you get the, the Avengers movies that you'll watch, something, especially Thor. But there's other reasons for watching Thor. But, you know, there's um, some that you'll watch again and again. And Guardians of the Galaxy, love that film so much. But they are rare. Mostly films are disposable. They just, oh, they got awful endings, or they just could have made them better. They could have done so much more with it, and they didn't. You know, it's always something, and they can't seem to make a good sci-fi movie anymore. What's that all about? Have they lost the ability to think of a good storyline? Is that what it is? I don't know. Did all the talent pass away, and we haven't got any back? We just need some, need some new ones. It's some new movies that are, especially now, because, you know, 
the, the year and a half or so that we've had we've just not really had movies even the bond has been delayed and delayed and delayed and they're now starting to show the trailers because they want people in the movie theaters watching it and um you know we've just had so little but good old box set see us through and somebody who suggested that i watch manifest whoever that was i owe you one because i'm really into that now i'm well into it i'm well kind of binge watching and uh I've only watched like maybe a couple of days. Sometimes like Gary goes to bed early when he's got to get up for work. So I might watch about three. Um, and, I've, and I look and think, I should go to bed. And then I watch it and I think, I can't, I can't see it through to the end. So when I get up, I have to watch the other bit. <laughs> it's sort of, I should have just stopped, but I can't. It's one of those that you need to watch over. So if you haven't watched Manifest, oh, please do. It's, um, do you remember the 4400 with all those returnees? It's something similar, but not, if you know what I mean. It's, um, it's pretty cool, enjoying it. So yeah, I'm glad I've got a show to watch and there's a few seasons of it too, so that keep me going for a while. So today I'm going to have a peri peri chicken. It's only got a peri peri coating um, that's already on the, on the skin and I don't eat the skin anymore. Yeah, those days are gone. Um, not because um, I've, you know, I've seen the error of my ways, but it just tastes horrible to me now. So things are starting to improve taste-wise, I've noticed, but not everything. And I and I don't like any kind of fat anyway on my food. So um, yeah, I, I just chuck it away now. So it does have a very vague um, peri-peri taste, but not much of it. And um, I'm gonna have that with a bit of leftover lamb that we had from our dinner yet, not yesterday, day before. And uh, I'm just gonna have vegetables with it and new potatoes. And I don't know what Gary's gonna have. He, I think he's having kebab, like pita breads, and he's gonna do onions and all of that with this. So I'm just gonna have veggies because I, I wanna get back to eating as much of that kind of wholesome food as I can. So that's my plan today. Um, and tomorrow I'm gonna make him a shepherd's pie, which again is veggies, but I do need to get some bits for that. So. I have to somehow get some from the shop. Um, I've got a bit of a sniffly nose today. I think it's allergies. I must take an antihistamine. I keep forgetting to take them. But I've been cuddling the cat a lot lately, so I think it's probably that. She, she just as soon as I go anywhere in the bathroom, she slides in there with me, and that's it. She's demanding of my attention. And I'm kind of a captive in one place. So uh, yeah, but my my gel arrived for my scar it's because it's a bit red here this area here no here here there's some lumps but they they do disperse when i'm getting to the massage and they start to go and then i forget to do it and they come back so i know they're fluid i really do need to do that a bit more so at the moment i've got my massage stuff which is e45 really i have some bio oil in the cabinet so I should do that. But I'm a bit worried about making my hair greasy. That's the only thing. Um, and now my my gel for the scar, which I've only used once. So I'm going to get um, into the swing of that. I'm going to print out my exercises and get on with them. And do my wound care a bit more than I have been. So that's my plan for today. And do an unboxing over on Rocksteady for my hair thing, which has arrived and uh, get that done so busy day ahead but not overly busy because i i still can't face a full-on day and i want to email chris my website guy and get um you know let him know how i am and that i'm going to get back into the swing of things so um we can get back on to making the website all exciting stuff stop fiddling so i'm going to get off and upload this i know it's not the longest one i've ever done but um yeah i need to sort of get started i've got up really early today um but i do have a lot to do so thanks for watching stay safe take care and all that good luck with the movie great <laughs> it's one of my favorites so thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one bye for now